What is up, boyos? We're back in the car. <laughs> As you can see, this is definitely what my car looks like, and we're hanging out in it again. Uh, back for another car review. This is kind of a different car review, though. Uh, just the way I'm formatting it. It's the same thing. You know, we're reviewing a movie in my car, and, uh, you know, fresh out the theater, you know, fresh review. Here's the thing. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm recording this before I see the movie. If you wait a minute, <laughs> I'm still going to review the movie. First, I, I wanted to talk about this movie a little bit and like all the drama that's been going on with it. I mean, it all started with Olivia Wilde being served papers. Yeah, so, so back at CinemaCon, she announced she was doing this movie with uh, Harry Styles and, you know, Florence Pugh. Uh, called don't don't worry darling okay while she was doing the presentation for this she was served papers um and apparently it was papers by uh jason sudeikis who is you know divorcing her or whatever uh serving her papers from the get-go <laughs> this movie's been like covered in weirdness right and I really like Olivia Wilde as a director. She made Booksmart, which I thought was a really good movie. And I, I believe it was her directorial debut and it was great. But then on top of this, after, you know, that happened at CinemaCon, uh, she started dating Harry Styles, who is the star of this movie, along with Florence Pugh. You know, and that's kind of an invitation for some, like, you know, rumor, speculation, weirdness, you know. There was all sorts of rumors about, like, Florence Pugh being upset because she, uh, Olivia Wilde was more focused on Harry Styles and her relationship than the movie. None of that's been substantiated. We don't know if any of that's true. But then there was some weirdness with, like, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, Shia LaBeouf was originally supposed to play Harry Styles' part in this movie. And of course, Shia LaBeouf is sort of blacklisted right now because he like beat up some girl. Olivia Wilde said, you know, we got him off the set. And then Shia LaBeouf came back and was like, I, I wasn't fired. I left because I couldn't rehearse. And things just got weird. Things that probably shouldn't have been public were made public. And um, yeah, things got awkward. And apparently like Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine. I think that's totally bullshit. I mean, we can look at the video here. Okay, so Harry Styles walks in. Kind of looks like he spits. And Chris Pine sort of is like, what the hell? But really, when you look at it, let's look at it again. Okay? Closer eye. Eagle eye here. Okay? He just sort of purses his lips and he's sort of like, what? And then Chris Pine's like, oh shit, my sunglasses. He's not wiping spit off of him or anything. It doesn't appear that he actually <laughs> spit on him at all. Uh, in fact, what it looks like to me is Chris Pine is just totally zooted out of his mind, just completely blitzed on something, <laughs> you know, be it him being drunk or high or whatever. He seemed pretty high through this entire thing, uh, which, you know, God bless him for that. Yeah, so Chris Pine's having a great time. <laughs> uh, Harry Styles didn't spit on anybody. Um Things are getting taken out of hand. Uh, you know, a bunch of rumors came out that may or may not be true. We'll probably never know. You know, another rumor was that there was a uh, there was no intimacy coaches on on the set of the movie. So, you know, it was like a problematic workplace. But none of that is substantiated. We don't know if that's true. We'll probably never know if that's true. Florence Pugh isn't going to say anything about that. Olivia Wilde's not going to say anything more. I'm sure Olivia Wilde is just ready to move on from this fucking movie. I'm sure Florence Pugh is just ready to move on from this movie. And Harry Styles doesn't give a fuck. Because I'm not sure there's a whole lot going on up there. <laughs> if we're being honest. But then uh, the reviews started coming out. Okay. Uh, I was excited about this movie even with all the, you know, the weird publicity and stuff. Um, because Olivia Wilde made book smart and I thought that was great. And Florence Pugh is a great actor and Harry Styles, you know, is kind of up and coming when it comes to acting, you know, he did, uh, that Chris Nolan movie and he was okay in it and he's going to be in the MCU and stuff. So like, he's obviously decent at acting if he's getting all these jobs on Rotten Tomatoes right now, it has a 31%, which is 
not great. In fact, let's check out some of these reviews real quick. Wilde isn't a strong enough filmmaker at this point to navigate around the story's weaknesses, much less transcend them. It's an intriguing ride that is undone by its own mechanics and a twist that doesn't hold up to any sort of smell test. Though it's a compelling starting framework for Don't Worry Darling, every little revelation is bluntly over the top, sapping the movie of any mystery. So, yeah. Um, people don't seem to like it, although they're saying it's intriguing. I can't help but wonder, you know, is this because of the stink that's already on the movie, or is it because the movie's actually bad? Uh, so I want to go into the movie open mind, you know, totally open minded, and I want to see it myself. I want to see what I think of it. Uh, so let me go into the theater. <laughs> let me hop out of my car here. And then we'll get back in the car and I'll do a review. So here is my review of Don't Worry Darling. Darling all of you wives. With you all the time. We men, we ask a lot. Can't you see? We ask for strength. <laughs> food at home. A house clean. With you all the time. And discretion above all else. Boys and their toys. At least we know they're getting work done. Okay, we're back in the car. <laughs> you know, I just got out of the movie. Got back in my car. Obviously, this around us is my car. Um, but yeah, back in the car, and I've got some thoughts on this movie. Ultimately, this movie is a movie. My favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like a movie. All right, but in all seriousness, um, I saw the movie. There's been a lot of drama surrounding this movie, but I went in with an open mind, okay? And I got to say, I thought the movie was okay. I, I don't I don't understand. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the movie deserves the amount of, like, negative criticism it's getting online, at least on Rotten Tomatoes, but, you know, that might update to a more positive score. I thought the cinematography was amazing i i thought there were some really unique shots and olivia wilde really brought her a game when it came to like actually just the visuals uh, i thought everyone's performances were rather good in particular florence Pugh. i thought florence Pugh was phenomenal in this movie she's great um but that that really should be no surprise right like florence Pugh. I don't think she's really been in a bad movie. And if she has been in a bad movie, she wasn't bad in the bad movie, if you know what I mean. Now, I know the question on everyone's mind, how was Harry Styles? <laughs> I thought Harry Styles was not amazing. Uh, I don't think he was bad, though. Uh, there was a clip going around online, and this might leak it might lean into like minor spoilers but not really like you won't understand what i'm saying here um there was there was a clip going around online of him like not having a great british accent even though he is british and everyone's like what what is up with it, this accent that he's doing in this movie i'm not sure if it was on purpose but it almost f makes sense within the movie that his accent is weird um and I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to spoil anything. But while we're talking about Harry Styles, um, the, the rest of the cast I thought was really good as well. I thought Chris Pine was really good. Uh, really good villain. An evil charisma, you know? Like, he, he's really, he was really good at it. I, I, I was like, wow, this guy's a bad guy. Um, I thought Olivia Wilde was really good at the movie as well. I thought... Her character was interesting, and I thought her performance was good. The one who surprised me the most was Nick Kroll. I really liked Nick Kroll's character. The, the problem with all these characters, though, is we didn't get enough of them. And I'm not just saying that because, like, oh, I wish we saw more of this person because their performance was so good. No, like, within the story, we needed more of these characters because the ending comes, and you're kind of like, wait, we never really tied up what's going on with this person. 
we don't even know why this happened with this person. I'm trying to be vague here so I don't get into like spoiler territory. If you want me to do some spoilers, I can make another video talking spoilers. So, you know, comment below or whatever. But I think every character except for Florence Pugh's character, you're kind of like, what? <laughs> you know? And I, I thought the ending of the movie, once again, not getting spoilery here, but the ending of the movie, really interesting premise. Okay. Really interesting twist. But when you think about it for too long, you start to go, huh? What, but what about this thing? What about this other thing? And maybe I'm just dumb, right? Maybe I'm just stupid. And uh, it's all, if you go back and really look at it, it answers all the questions. But there's a few things in particular where I'm like, that doesn't really make sense. Really, the whole premise falls apart when you think about it for too long um still a cool idea and i gotta say i was all the way up until the ending i was on the edge of my seat through the whole movie i was like what is happening what's going on this is crazy you know like the whole time i'm like what is this and then when the ending came i think things kind of fell apart and not just with the ending, but with the whole movie when you really think about it. And I'm not saying this movie is bad because of this, but it does... If you think about it too hard, it really does kind of fall apart a bit, which is unfortunate. Um, but once again, I will I will admit, maybe I'm just dumb. Uh, I think in particular, Gemma Chan's character... Man, I need to to know more about what's going on there because the ending happens and you're just sort of like what <laughs> and you know it's okay when a movie ends and it leaves you wanting more right like that's a good thing but this movie didn't leave me wanting more it made me feel like there should have been more if that makes sense like not that i wanted more but like I don't feel fully satiated from this film uh, when it comes to the ending. All that being said, I still thought this was a really intriguing movie. I'm almost half tempted to watch it again because of how interesting it is. And like maybe the dots will connect more on a second watch. Uh, maybe I will make a spoiler video for this because there, I'd love to go into more detail because... Yeah, there's a few things that I'm just like, what the f what the fuck was that? You know? Yeah. Really? That's but once again, cinematography amazing, inspired even, like great. Um costuming, I thought was really great. I really loved everyone's outfits and uh the set dressing, I thought was wonderful. It, it all worked. It was all great. Uh like Harry Styles goes through a transformation in this movie that I think is like, wow, I can't believe they did that. And I do see how Shia LaBeouf would have fit in this movie um, after seeing this movie. But, I, you know, no hate to Harry Styles. I thought he did OK, uh, all things considered. You know, I don't think he's the next like James Dean or anything, but um, he was fine. Weird nitpick here. I thought some of the Foley work was weird. Um, that's a really strange nitpick. But some of the Foley work was... Uh, it, it took me out of the film a few times, some of the Foley work. Um, not sure if that's like that was intentional. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else will notice that except for me. But uh, I definitely noticed it. It was kind of weird. I guess to wrap it all up here... Um, yeah, the movie is fine. Uh, drama aside, um, I thought it was an interesting movie. Uh, I, I'm i really hoping that with all this drama, Olivia Wilde doesn't get discouraged and she continues her career as a director because I think she's a really good director and this movie kind of cements it. Uh, you know, some of the story issues... Uh, you know, that's one thing, but like the, the direction of this movie, I think was there. Yeah. I, I think she's a good director. The rumors are she was supposed to direct a spider woman movie. 
I hope that's still happening. I hope she's still doing it. I think she would be great as the director for that. And hell, you could even have Florence Pugh be Spider-Woman. Why not? Uh, I mean, hell, that, that would set aside all the, the rumors of this movie where they like hate each other or whatever, right? We might get some conflict, though, because Florence Pugh is already part of the MCU. She plays uh, Black Widow, so it'd be kind of weird if she plays Spider-Woman. But, you know, Spider-Man is owned by Sony, so, you know, it could be a separate universe sort of thing. Anyway, we're getting too nerdy here. This is a artistic movie, okay? We don't talk about the MCU here. Anyway, uh, final thing. This might be a spoiler a little bit. But the main villain of this movie was this guy right here. What the hell are we going to do without men? What rules, you sons of bitches? 